This is the employee leave wall calendar. This shows each employee down the left hand side, and then the current days of the current month along the top. Any days that are highlighted are either days that have been booked off by an employee or pending leave requests. For example, Andrew here is booked off on holiday on the 6th of January, Jack is also booked off an annual leave for a number of days. If I wanted to add a new employee leave entry, I can drag the mouse over the dates in question, then proceed to fill out the resulting pop-up. This will also show anyone else on that employee's team who is also booked off. Once added, the entry shows on the leave calendar. Leave requests that are to be approved or declined will also show on this calendar. Leave requests are shown with a striped background. Click on a leave request to view that request, then choose to approve or decline. You will also see a cake symbol indicating that Sonny's birthday is at the end of the month. The wall calendar will allow you to go forward and back months via the date picker. You will see in April, it's Jack's 4-year work anniversary on the 14th April. Beside each employee name, the number in the black circle shows the remaining days or hours that employee has remaining. The group booking allows you to book multiple employees off in one go. The wall calendar also allows you to drill down to certain teams of employees. You can click on a certain date and it will show anyone off in a given date. You can also lock certain dates that employees cannot request, and administrators can only add leave on those dates.